Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Rangers, and I'm here to talk about game 65 of the regular season, where the Rangers win one to nothing over the Carolina Hurricane in a very, very important divisional playoff game. The Rangers entered play dead even in games played against the Canes and only four points up. If the Canes would have won, they would have been basically a game behind them down the stretch. So getting this win, and now you put three wins between the two of you, is massive especially on the second half of a back-to-back -back with travel. This was a very, very important game for the Rangers to win. And this is also a one-take, because, like, dude, it was a one nothing game. I, there's not, the little speech that I just went on in the first 40 seconds is the game. Like, that, it was incredibly important. The Rangers needed to get this win. And one of the things that I think you should take away, me. Honestly, the thing that you should take away from this game for the New York Rangers, they desperately needed to come up with a win. Their team was tired. They only managed one goal in the game, and it was on the road in enemy territory, despite the fact that a lot of Rangers fans made the, made the trek. And Igor Shosturkin came up huge. I believe 28 of 28. A shutout, his, if I'm not mistaken, second shutout in a row for Igor Shosturkin. He's looked great. I said it in the game against the Blues. The player on this team that you want the most locked in, looking the best heading into the playoffs, is Igor Shosturkin. He has not allowed a goal in the past two games. He has looked unreal. Some really big saves in the Blues game. Some really big saves in this one, especially late in the game. And it was a game where the Rangers got outplayed. Don't let the expected goals fool you. There were a couple of shots the Rangers had or attempts on the empty net that caught him back up with the Canes. They got pretty well handled in this game by Carolina. <clears throat> but Igor Shosturkin, when they needed him most, when, and I'm not even saying this is a bad thing, when the offense and debatably the defense couldn't come up huge for him, they only get one goal, he came up bigger. He had another gem performance, another donut in the column, and he gets him two points. <clears throat> And it's not against some Joe Schmo low down in the standings team. It's the Canes <clears throat> who are hot on your trail in the standings. That is huge. That's why you should feel good about a one nothing win. And the goal, I will say this was one of the funniest things. Expected goals are not everything. Like, Adam Fox did the right thing. And if I were to appraise goals, I would have appraised it a little bit higher. 0 0.01 expected goal on the shot for Adam Fox. Which is just... Chef's kiss. That, that's the game-winning goal. That's the only goal in the game. Like, that's just... Hockey's a fake sport, dude. And now the Rangers find themselves in the midst of a three-game winning streak with the day off tomorrow. And Thursday, they will be in Tampa to take on the Tampa Bay Lightning. And I'll be over there. So the video will be in the not-this-backdrop setting. Game's at 7 p.m. Thursday night, and I'll be here afterwards to talk about it. But as for right now, that is all I have to say. So if you enjoyed the video, please consider to like and subscribe. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day, and as always, go Rangers.